the hundredth tube. One hundred. One hundred. And haven't we aged, matured, and become much, much better over the last four years? Much like the 1972 Chateau Latour in the wine world, that's what we are to the pop music industry of today. Tonight on this 100th programme, you will be able to see one of the most surprising events ever in rock and roll history. Also, you'll be able to see Paula doing a link topless. And in a moment, what will we see? What can we see? In a minute, we're going to see us many years ago. Yeah, and you can see how much weight I've lost. 100. where it's all going to be happening. For the next five months, you're going to be able to see live music, interviews, my stomach getting bigger week by week. In fact, things that have never before seen on a live TV show. And what can I say? One small step for pop music, one large step for fat girls. Desperately exciting tube. A star studded occasion tonight, and a star who's studying with me beside me is a man, Clive James, who's not necessarily 100 years old, but who has certainly seen it all. Clive, what do you think of it so far? Oh, I'm just pleased to be here. I must admit I was a bit puzzled at first because uh, they told me I was coming to do World in Action. And I think I got on the wrong aircraft, and uh, I was supposed to do an interview. Are you Glennis Kinnick? Could be, could be. It's, it's just wonderful to be here among all these young people. I haven't seen young people for a long time, and they're all here, aren't they? Everybody who wasn't invited to the premiere of Absolute beginners is here and it's just so terrific to be here can i sing now you can do anything like later on in the program clive will actually be uh, giving, him, uh, <laughs> giving us his idea of what's uh, what he thinks of so much Meanwhile, happy birthday that dear tube happy birthday to you <laughs> Happy birthday to the tube. This is 100 Thursdays that Paula hasn't been with me. I think about now you could give her a raise. Just remember you're ugly non -tube. Happy birthday, everyone at the blooming yeah. shoe that we're not allowed to appear on anymore. We're not asked suppose. to go on it anymore. But it came here because they said there was going to be a drink in it because we're not allowed anymore because Dawn said something. Say what you said, I said Dawn. something that goes like... Say the word, Dawn. Say what you said on the tube that time. <laughs> Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tube. Happy birthday to you. I think our feeling generally is that perhaps with the single exception of its popular music element, the Tube has been a program we've enjoyed hugely. Yes. Uh, if it weren't for the, the, this popular adolescent music, it would be uh, young, fresh, pink, invigorating, moist and fluffy. Something like my bottom. Very, very like Adrian's yes. bottom. In fact, the whole tube reminds me of my bottom in that it's, it's young. It's full it's of young fresh, people, of yes. course. It's yes. alive. Very, it very produces live. sounds of... Popular music. Um, yes, divergent interest. That's and right. uh, that sort of brown, sticky stuff. That's right, and it's particularly active on Friday nights. Yes. At the end of a long week. Yes. Uh, Adrian's bottom is and as I often, to behold. As I I'm often sure repeat most of you, with yeah. my bottom on Tuesday nights. <laughs> It was special. Yes, my specials. Yes. So very happy birthday, Adrian's Bottom. Yes, thank Let's you. Let's have a hundred more of them. Good night. Hello, I'm Nick Jones. One hundred years old. Yeah, the tube one hundred. One hundred years old. Ah, Jules and Paula. Congratulations to 100 years old, eh? Who would ever thought that? I tell you, it doesn't seem like yesterday. 
I want to say congratulations to all the team who put the show together, to Jules and Paula who are covered in mould, and really, it's just fabulous. Congratulations. Tube 100. 100 years old. What? Actually, it's been done years before. The Beatles did this ages ago. Did he really? Did he do it in bare feet? Oh. Happy birthday to you from the Jubilum crew. Here comes the sun. Actually, the reason that we're here at Abbey Road Studios is not to do the Beatles. It's actually because we're doing Kate Bush. She had her first hit when she was 19, and it was... <laughs> Can I have no peace? No peace. Anyway, Kate had her first hit with Wuthering Heights, and since then she's gone on from strength to strength and breaking completely new territories in music. She has also made her performances into something of an art form, mingling dance and mime and all kinds of theatre. In fact, she's a very thespian girl. So here we are, we're going to look at Kate Bush at Abbey Road Studios. To tell you how to find it To tell you where we'll be This little girl inside me Is retreating to her favorite place Go into the garden Go under the ivy Go under the leaves Away from the party, go right to the rose, go right to the white rose. Kate's Bush then. Now